updates on the latest Guild Wars 2 Living World content, a new MMO for your pleasure on Steam Early Access, and a Gaming World Championship happening right now. Hey guys, I'm Gillibead with MMO Play, and I'm bringing you all that and more this week on MMO News. Year, so fans, developers, and others are all talking about the biggest gaming achievements and flops of 2014. Naturally, the opinions of which games were best differ from person to person. This is especially true in MMO games where the community makes the game and player experience is unique from player to player. Review-wise, this means that some players could end up reviewing a fundamentally great game enjoyed by many as a poor one. This week, the reviewers and MMO community of Joystick's sister site Massively came to the decision that the best MMO game of 2014 was... nothing. Voters were just a sample of the MMO community as a whole, but with about 37% of their staff claiming that no MMO game deserved the award, and an alarming 48% of their readers stating the same, heads are turning towards the MMO community to see what exactly went wrong. 2014 saw the launch of a lot of hugely anticipated games like Elder Scrolls Online, the space epic Elite Dangerous pictured here, and of course, the hotly tipped yet flawed Wildstar. What do you think? Was 2014 a year that the MMO community should just sweep under the rug? Let us know in the comments section below. You only have a few more days until you'll reach the point of no return in Guild Wars 2. Are you prepared? Guild Wars 2 The Point of No Return will close off an intense series of story arcs that have enthralled MMO fans throughout 2014 as part of the game's living world content. So far, not much has been revealed about the final chapter of Season 2, but as the title suggests, some tough decisions have to be made for the sake of Tyria's survival as we know it. According to the game, the time for truth has come. You'll have to find a way to break the seal, enter the cave, and learn what happened all those years ago. The update will be available and free to download from January 13th. Players who enjoy crafting and PvP combat have something to look forward to later this month. Sandbox Interactive has announced that the Albion Online Winter Alpha will begin on January 26th and will feature a slew of new features. Players asked and the game's developers delivered. Now, gamers can raise crops and animals to gain various consumables and food items. New buildings will create consumables to buff players for their adventures. And since the world of Albion Online can be a dangerous place, a veritable arsenal of new weapons are being added as well. Also added to the game are islands that can be claimed by players or guilds. This should help alleviate the issue of the need for open land for player housing. Gamers will also be able to flag themselves as friendly or hostile in PvP areas, but don't worry you bloodthirsty brutes, there will still be free-for-all PvP zones in the game. Finally, Alpha will bring options for remapping hotkeys, an overhaul of weapons and spells, a dungeon classification system, new territory types for guilds to claim and control, and the chance that resource nodes will provide magical resources. To take part in the Winter Alpha, players have to be an epic or legendary founder of the game, costing either $50 or $100. But if your wallet is dry from buying Christmas presents, the game will be free to play when it eventually launches. The fantasy sandbox MMORPG Zion has arrived on Steam Early Access, but it's in its prelude development stage, so it's still a work in progress. Still, if you're interested in shaping up Zion Prelude, then you can purchase the game on Steam and participate in the early access feedback process. Developers promise to work closely with the Steam early access buyers to evolve and expand the virtual world to suit their preferences. Players with existing citizen accounts can also request a Steam key to run Zion from Steam at no additional cost. Over the longer term horizon, developers plan to launch a full version, tentatively titled Zion Apocalypse, once several criteria are met. The game is planned to have the same price as Zion Prelude, with accounts from the latter to be transferred when the former is released. These include the full implementation of pets, mounts, and achievements, release of ranged combat, and improvement of game systems. The focus of the immediate upcoming round of improvements will be on creatures and combat, so early access participants might want to spend a bit more time scrutinizing those aspects of the game. 
the Zion Steam Early Access run will last at least through mid-2015. It's no longer as easy these days to secure your desired name in DC Universe Online, given the millions of players also reserving monikers left and right. To help out, developers are cleaning shop and will be freeing up some names in an event called DC Universe Online Name Reclaim 2015. Shortly after January 20th, names from characters on inactive accounts will be reclaimed, making them available for new characters or for renaming existing characters. If you're afraid that your banked name is going to be reclaimed because, say, you've been so wrapped up playing other MMO games, take note. Characters on accounts that have not logged into the game since July 20th, 2013, or basically in the last 18 months, will have their names reclaimed. This means you only need to log in once before January 20th to preserve your name. If you don't, the system will reclaim the name of your inactive account character. In place of the reclaimed name, the characters will receive placeholder names. Any reclaimed names will become available automatically to current players through the regular character creation or rename process. Aside from the name switcheroo, all accounts and characters will remain otherwise intact. A big draw to MMO games is you can be whoever you want to be. But what if you just want to be yourself? Besides the virtual worlds and chat room based titles, there's not much out there in terms of reality based MMO games. Asylum Entertainment sees this as a problem and hopes that their upcoming title, Identity, will be the solution. According to devs, for years now, MMORPGs have lost their way. What was once a genre about exploring and living in a new world has now become a treadmill to keep you playing the same game over and over again. Identity is changing things. The game is all about community-driven content and objectives based on each individual player's decisions. If you want to go to work or start a business to make your money, then you can. However, if you'd rather rob a bank or stop the bank robbers in their tracks, these are options too. The goal, all in all, is to create a virtual world where gamers can genuinely feel like they're a citizen. The Identity Kickstarter has just launched this week with a $150,000 target. Be sure to check out the MMO Play website to find out more. Well guys, as we sit here waiting for the final chapter of the Guild Wars 2 Season 2, let's check out a 5 and one Riot Games is worried about stabilizing ping for all of its North American players, so it's working on creating its own dedicated League of Legends network. Whoa. They finally released a date for Planetside 2's closed beta on PS4, and that day is, drum roll please, January 20th. World of Warcraft had a big week as it extended its 10th anniversary event for one more week and announced a new hardcover series that will launch next winter. Officials arrested an alleged Lizard Squad hacker over the weekend in London, and the FBI are investigating to see if the suspect really is a member of the group. And finally, top Smite players are playing this weekend in the game's World Championship for $2.5 million, so head over to the game's Twitch channel to watch these gods play gods. Well guys, that's all the time we have for today, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for all the latest info, contests, and more. Once again, I'm Gillyweed, and I'll see you next week, but until then, I'll see you in game.